Kristen. And Kristen. And you are watching Bang Glorious, where we show those of you who have champagne taste how to live fashionably on a beer budget. Yes. And as uh, all of you know, the Oscars just happened a couple days ago. Yeah, you know, I'm excited because now award season's over. Thank the good lord. And now the traffic in LA will hopefully die back down. It's already, yes. it's already, traffic's already really bad here, but with mm -hmm. awards going on, it's a hot mess, so. Yeah. I'm excited. But of course, the Oscars, nobody cares about the awards. It's all about the fashion. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Because that's the most uh, exciting part, is the red carpet. Yeah. <laughs> How did you feel about the red carpet? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 obviously being the best, what did mm -hmm. you think? I would say maybe like a 7 or 8. You know, okay. there wasn't any huge mishaps. You're being nice. I'm gonna give it like a three. <laughs> I just was, I was underwhelmed. I'll be honest. Yeah. Won't fail. But you know, there was a couple of standouts that I really like. Obviously, Mila Kunis stole the show. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with that dress. Oh my gosh, LA Saab Haute Couture, amazing. She had beautiful earrings on yeah. as well. I mean, her whole look was just perfect. Yeah, much. She, but you know what I loved about it is it looks like easy and flawless. Like she wasn't trying too hard. I felt there was a lot of trying hard going on and yeah. she just looked like, oh, I woke up this morning and I put this on and yeah. Yeah. Go. She was great. I thought another person who looked beautiful was Haley Steinfeld. Oh, she's cute. I yeah. know. She's like 13, so you have to dress appropriate, obviously. I think she's 14, but yeah. Oh, 14 now? Yeah. Oh, she's, she's grown up. Yeah. But, you know, it's hard. Like, what are you going to do? You have to dress nice, but you still want to dress young. Mm -hmm. And I think she did it perfect. I think some others in, in Young Hollywood should take note. Yes. Because she was age appropriate. She looked great. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any side boobs, so, <laughs> you know, I, I like that. Good yeah. job. Also, Forget Mandy Moore. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. It's like the people who weren't even like the top people at the Oscars mm -hmm. kind of look the best. Like Mandy Moore, like she, okay, she sang. Right. She wasn't like nominated. <laughs> yeah. I don't think. Or yeah, she was just singing. She did look great. I wasn't a huge fan of like the hair and the earrings and the makeup and mm -hmm. stuff. I know others of you out there in my Twitter feed totally disagree with me, and yeah. that's fine. But I did love the dress. Yeah. I loved how. You couldn't even tell that she was wearing a mesh part. Mm -hmm. It blended perfectly in her skin. Mm -hmm. Classy. Yeah. As opposed to some people after the fact, not so classy with yeah. this trend. Some people don't know how to wear uh, the mesh trend <laughs> or sheer trend. Yeah, yeah. So Mandy did it best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. Halle Berry. Does she ever not she, look good? Well, yeah. Uh, very rarely. She, but she looked great tonight. Yeah. I, I did like. Uh, I mean, she looked fabulous, flawless, and. She looked great, yeah. I'm actually more obsessed with this dress that she wore um, not too long ago. It was a red lace. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost on the same style as Mila Kunis. It was yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. But no, she looked awesome on I believe her. I believe that was also Ellie Saab Haute Couture. Mm. So clearly the winner in all of this is Ellie Saab Haute <laughs> yeah. Couture. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. So Now, there's also Hilary Swank. Mm -hmm. I could go both ways on this one. Yeah. You know who I think would really like that dress? Yeah. Your mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feathers and sequins. Yes. Actually, she, my mom would love that dress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, she looked good. I, I like it was different, you know? I, yeah. But, you know, I felt like there was a battle in between young Hollywood and old Hollywood. Yeah, a little bit. It was weird. Mm -hmm. But, you know, one of the reasons why I was in high school, when I was in high school and I watched the Oscars, were to get ideas for prom. Yeah. Like, I was crazy like that. And I remember when I was in um, high school, that's when, uh, how, Halle Berry, I can't think right now, <laughs> when she had that Valentino dress, uh, and I yeah. became, like, obsessed with it, and I wanted to wear it to prom, obviously not age-appropriate, so <laughs> I couldn't, but it's a great way to kind of start getting some ideas, like some hot trends, or, you know, great looks, and then maybe when you're shopping for prom, you can kind of work these into your to your looks, if you want. Yeah, like some of the trends that we obviously saw on the carpet were red, mm -hmm. that was a huge color of the night. All over the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tool, kind of like the princess style. Yes. Like we said with Haley Steinfeld and Mandy Moore. Um, and then there's a couple other trends as well, like obviously metallics huge. were huge. Yeah. So, you know, those kind of trends you can work into your prom dress or if you have a really fancy wedding to go to. Right, or something like that. Yeah, and I know a lot of people out there like make their prom dresses, mm -hmm. which is, you know, when you do something like that, you got to start early. So this is a great way to kind of start like getting the ball rolling, getting your ideas yeah. going and thinking about it. And for those of you who don't know how to sew. Right. There's always great websites. There's one called uh, eDressMe.com, mm -hmm. and they do the knockoffs. Yeah. Like at ABS and Alan Schwartz, uh -huh. and they have some really cool knockoffs from like the Golden Globes and. I was yeah. Really impressed. I was like, oh, I mean, they're they're kind of pricey, obviously, a little bit, but 
not as much as the designer ones. Exactly. That's always true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we kind of want to know, what did you like on the red carpet? What trend did you see on there that you think is going to be big for the seasons coming up? Mm -hmm. Or, on a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> how you rated um, this red carpet, or the whole award season in general. I'm glad it's over, but it was exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. So let us know down in the comment section. And uh, of course, check out our blog, forevervainglorious.com. Mm -hmm. Tweet us at vain underscore glorious. And you can email us any questions or whatever you want. Kristen at forevervainglorious.com. Yes. And that's a wrap. Yeah. Thank God it's over. That's a wrap. Oh my God, look at you. You're so Hollywood. That's a wrap. Cut. <laughs>